out Julie and welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. Today is May 12th, National Nutty Fudge Day. I'm Ashley. And I'm Rihanna. Here are today's announcements. If you are a Tennessee Scholar and did not attend the awards presentation at Cumberland, please stop by Guidance to pick up your certificate and medal. The Choir Spring Concert is Thursday, May 14th at 7 o'clock in the theater. Students in the top 10% who ordered an honor still for graduation need to see Mrs. Teresa Hill in B126. Anyone who ordered a National Honor Society stool needs to pick it up in room C109 with Mrs. Bowman. Now for our weather. Hey MJ, I'm here with your five day forecast. Today there is a high of 78 and a low of 51. Tomorrow there is a high of 81 and a low of 55. Thursday there is a high of 87 and a low of 64, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. Friday there is a high of 80 and a low of 66 with an 80% chance of thunderstorms. And finally, on Saturday, there is a high of 83 and a low of 67 with a 90% chance of thunderstorms. Yes, Mount Juliet, I said 90% chance of rain on prom night. This is for all of us girls with long dresses. We should make a, the good precautions and bring an umbrella or two. I'm McKenna, and that was your Mount Juliet weather. Volleyball tryouts for next year will be June 1st through 3rd. The first two days will be from 6 to 8 p.m. The third day will be 9 to 11 a.m. There will be an open gym for anyone who wants to try out on May 18th and 19th after school until 4.15. Unplugged Gamers, today and Thursday are the last two meetings for this year. Today is the election. There will be a cross-country interest meeting May 14th at 7.30 a.m. in the small gym for all those interested in running cross-country next fall. There's a list posted on the glass in front of guidance for perfect attendance. If you have perfect attendance and do not see your name, see Mrs. Warburton in guidance. Seniors. Please stop by the guidance office during class change to sign where you want your final transcript to be sent. Here's our sports news. What's up, NJ? I'm Andrew. And I'm Aaliyah here with your sports news. Savannah Sanders led the way yesterday with 14 strikeouts as the Lady Bears routed the Henry County Patriots 11-0. They will travel to Wilson Central tomorrow to play the Lady Wildcats for the regional championship at six. Come out and support them. In your NBA playoff news, last night the Atlanta Hawks beat the Washington Wizards 106-101. That leaves their series tied 2-2. Two two. Also last night, the Golden State Warriors beat the Memphis Grizzlies by 17 points, with the final score being 101-84. to And tonight, the Chicago Bulls will make their way to Cleveland and take on the Cavaliers for Game 5. This series is also tied 2-2. Two two. The game will start at 6 on TNT. Also tonight, the Los Angeles Clippers leading their series 3-1 will make their way to Houston for the Game 5. Be sure to check this game out on TNT at 8.30 to see if Los Angeles will end their series between Houston. What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. There is no math tutoring. No math tutoring today. When did you get this? Breaking news, did you no get math this? tutoring today. Did you get this just now? Oh my goodness. No math. Okay, well let's finish this and then we'll get back to it. We'll worry about that in a little bit. CC Sabathia finally received the run support he had been craving all season, grabbing his first victory in more than a year as the Yankees hit five home runs to secure an 11-5 win over the Rays on Monday night at the trot. And in Cincinnati, a Ronis Chapman wild pitch toward Phil Gosselin in the top of the ninth inning, proving to be the difference in a 2-1 victory for the Braves over the Rays. That's all from us. Have a great day, MJ. We're going to go worry about that. Honors Chemistry 1 tutoring will be available Tuesdays and Thursdays in room C126 from 310 to 350 and Wednesdays in room C128 from 310 to 350. ACT prep information is in the guidance office. Students must turn in an excuse note to be excused for an absence. Any unexcused absences in a class will result in the student having to take exams at the end of the semester. Free after school math tutoring is available Monday. <laughs> Free after school math tutoring is available in room C110 Monday through Thursday until 4. And finally, here's our word of the day. Hey there, and welcome back to Tactical Study. I'm your host, Bob Saget. Let's jump right in. Our first contestant today is Caleb Wethington. He is 44 years old, has no wife, no children, no friends. He watches TMZ religiously. He locks long walks on the beach, collecting hairballs and petting turtles. Let's give it up for Caleb. Here's Bob! Hey there, welcome to Tactical Studying. I'm here with Caleb Weathington. How's How you doing, Caleb? I'm um, doing all right, you know. Um, I don't care. All right, as you all may know, five questions, all for a million dollars. The first question, $10,000. Second, 10001 Third, 10002 Fourth, $45,063. And the fifth question jumps to a million dollars. 
As you all may know, that the fifth question is the bonus question, which no one has ever gotten, and you won't. You won't. All right, and your first question today, Caleb, this one will start off first for $10,000. What is Childish Gambino's first name? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, it's Donald. Goal! $10,000 for you, Mr. Weathington. Yeah! Let's move on to question two. For $10,001, what was the first Pop-Tart flavor? Well, Bob, I actually know your Aunt Gertrude, and a lot like her, it's Wild Berry. That is correct. And don't you ever speak on Aunt Gertrude again. On to question three. Number three, Caleb. What is, according to Merriam-Webster, official party time? Webster, um, Battle of 1896. Got to say, 6.59 a.m. Will butter my buns and call me a biscuit, that one is. Correct. Now to number four. What is Will Byram's dad's first name? Steve. That's correct. Now, on to the bonus question. Final question for one million dollars. What's my favorite food? Tuna salad. Tuna salad was my father. Thank you for watching WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Ashley. And I'm Brianna. Have a nutty day, MJ.